So, uh, there's a big Lebowski quote for this, but I don't have it. I don't have it ready. Let's just roll. Let's just see if maybe we can find some wins with it. Maybe this team's real good and we'll play it a bit, or maybe we'll just keep copy catting. I don't really know. It'd just be nice to actually play all of our games today. Uh, the last time we went down, we didn't even finish all of our GBL sets because we couldn't. So, all right, we got Sand Slash into Diggersby. I don't love this, and I think we should just immediately pivot right on out of that. Oh, it's Tackle as well. Interesting. Okay, into Cress. You got it. How have you not watched all of the Big Lebowski AF Miller? How is that possible? Ooh, we got an attack boost. I like that. I think we probably are incentivized here to uh, protect this and try and win switch advantage. Especially if they're going to go straight on that Moonblast. The question here, like, this is where I, uh, knowing my matchups better would be really valuable. I don't know, for example, if they can get two moves here. Two grass knots, yes. I think we just have to, I think it's actually in our best interest to do that, frankly. Right? This is just way better for us. Hmm. It's a good shield for us. You've seen everything but not the uh, the last fight. Wow. <laughs> That's funny, Ave Miller. Uh, so I think the crest has a grass knot currently, but we're going to, we're just going to mud bomb it right away. Cause I want it dead. This play pattern also seems to indicate that maybe they're not super thrilled about a potential counter user here. Ah, it's their own Toxicroak. Well, we should win CMP, which is nice because honestly, we kind of needed to. Otherwise I think we just lose this game. Also, does new Mud Bomb just kill Toxicroak? It it doesn't, but it certainly puts it... Uh, it's way, way more difficult than it used to be. Wow, CMP is super important in that matchup now. Yeah, I'm not going to let you... Not going to let you farm me. GG's. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to play it again. You know what? This is, you said this was Rises, Rises team. I, I like, I mean, one, I just want to play with Toxicroak. I love me a Toxicroak. And two, Surfetch is cool. And Saiyan Slash is cool. And I like all these Pokemon. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna jam it again. And see if maybe, uh, maybe this team speaks to us in a way. Pidgeot. That is a pretty good lead for us. Okay. He's running Machamp. Interesting. Okay. Mud bombs do a lot now. I don't I don't love that part. I don't love the part where that mud bomb absolutely crunched us, but <laughs> uh, it's all right. We'll be able to one shot them, so yeah. It could be goth, yeah. We're giving it a try. We're going to give it a try. But if it's very common, that's also something we could look at trying to beat. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. I mean... Are they going to Brave Bird me? Are they really going to Brave Bird me? They are going to Brave Bird me. Nice. Nice choice. 
upside is we CMP'd them on the Brave Bird. So if they're gonna play this game, then unfortunately for them, yeah. Can't imagine they're staying, right? Wow, they are. That's pretty wild. Oh, it's another, it's double Mud Boy. It's double Mud Boy. That's a little awkward for us. Okay. Can they get... I don't think they can get three moves here. And I think if we shield their mud bombs, we're going to come out with a, a sludge bomb or close to a sludge bomb. Right? So I think this math works out for us. I mean, their Pidgeot has a move that it's going to have to throw basically right away. Yeah, this is not going to work out for him. Okay. So far, so good. This is a uh, crystal. So somebody ran this into us and uh, I kind of like the way it looks and it's performing pretty well. So we're just kind of, we're just going to keep running it for a little bit and see kind of how it goes. This is sort of like the other version of copycat where once you see something that speaks to you and is performing, you just stick with it. Another Quagsire. I don't I don't love this. We're just going to have to... Uh, oh. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right. Well, the good news in theory is we baited out their best fighting counter. The bad news is that... Uh, Poison Fang is going to get us is that we still have a Quagsire, which is a problem, right? I, I really don't want to get Shadow Balled here, but I think we're going to have to just run the risk that it happens. Yeah, that sucks, but. Ooh, ow. That's actually really quite bad. So one of the things I was hoping for here, I'm, we're going to, nope, I'm dead. That's terrible. So there's like a, definitely a good news, bad news situation there, which was uh, that I was hoping to be able to throw that move and then switch. Um... with and, and bank a punch but with the poison fang debuff and double kick being double super effective i just don't think that was happening so uh crystal now i didn't I actually didn't have enough uh sets from last time from when we were streaming on the last day that we were uh live to actually upload one today on youtube so unfortunately uh, I just don't have a video for today. Uh, I could have used a little more. Oh, okay. But we have to hit this double with a sludge bomb, and I don't even think that's going to kill it. But I think we're going to die to body slam here. Body slam gets us. Yeah, close, but no cigar. Yeah, burning gun. I, I mean, I, th I was pretty sure I'd survive a mud shot. Like, I was fairly confident I would survive. Even with the debuff, I'd survive a mud shot. I was not confident I would survive a... Well, I didn't know about the dub wool. So, good on them for, for identifying that the dub wool coming in would cause that issue. Simply put, I needed, I needed the ability to uh, throw an ice punch. Because if that had happened, I could have thrown a mud bomb into an ice punch there and potentially won that game on that damage. But... 
Say la vie. Uh, Toxapex. Okay. This is actually pretty good for us. It's not like a matchup I want to be playing a lot of, but you know. They're stuck doing uh, pretty mediocre damage with Brine. So. Obviously, Toxapex is built like a brick house. Um, what should we do here? I think we should bring in our Surfetched here. We're going to hit this thing, but I think we go... We go Surfetched. The Leaf Blades are pretty potent here. And we throw right away because I don't want to have to shield a uh, a mud bomb. Yeah, it's gonna put their uh, what's it called? It's gonna put this boy on something that can actually work with, but they have to waste this energy anyway. So I think we just say like we'll go back to Surfetched here, or uh, what's it called? We'll go back to our uh, our initial lead here and be pretty happy with how this is all shaking out. Oh, good catch into the shiftery. Unfortunately, the shiftery catching is great, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have a shiftery counter. Uh, a number of it, Toxkirk Registeel Umbreon. I mean, Toxicroak is a bit of a finesse Pokemon crystal. And it's the kind of Pokemon that, one, is not really always a generalist, but it does definitely benefit from experience. I've been playing Toxie a really long time, a really good sense of what it can and can't do. It's one of my favorite Pokemon to play. Um, but I will say that it uh, is pretty tricky to play. And uh, it's exceptionally tricky to play um, against things like Metacham, which are pretty common right now. But we're playing Remix, so uh, another one of these. Same same deal. We're gonna just. Oh no. I'm having I'm having deja vu, y'all. We're having a bit of deja vu. What was their uh what was the back bomb? Was it uh dub wool? If it's dub wool, we still are in a position where we might be able to do something here. But it's going to be pretty ugly. And they're going right for the Poison Fang. I don't think I'm going to get another move to... This is bad. Oh, and they win CMP. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. I'm not shielding it because, like, let's be real. It's not valuable to us to do so. Uh, I kind of want to undercharge this, but I don't know that we're going to get enough undercharge here. Okay. Okay. This is how we want it to go. So our opponent... Red switch, and as soon as we switched, also switched... That's great for us. Um, here's the only downside. I do not know if we're going to be able to uh, win this game from here. Right? I believe I have a move on our... Uh, we have a move on our... Uh, what's it called? On our... Uh, if we have a... Uh, if we have a, 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 what's it called? An ice punch, I think we can win the game. I think. Our opponent's going to need two mud bombs to kill us. Uh, also, is my switch. Oh. I didn't have it, though, Burning Gundam. That was the problem. I was like, I think I'm like one short. 
So trying to force my opponent to get their two mud bombs this way is not the worst idea, but I think they're going to just barely get it right there. Yeah. We also could have maybe caught a mud bomb, but I think that we still lose. I think they just had the health. So unfortunately, we needed that undercharge on the goal bat to be just a little bit better. And it just wasn't. It's all right. We got three wins with the team. The, the downside is we lost two games basically in that set to a Quagsire lead. The team is not well suited to handle Quagsire. Uh, maybe Boomy, but I, I thought there was a really good chance that we could have got the Ice Punch. So that's kind of why I played for it. Um, it's possible going straight fast move down might have got me there, but we're talking like really, 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 really nitpicky. But maybe it would have. Maybe we just two shield and we just we just get there with the counter damage. It's very possible.